Do you know, 2-1 defeat here at Cliffable, how did you summarise that game? Um, a really, really dis disappointing game. Um, I thought it was a game we, were, for long, long periods, we were very, very good. Um, I thought we, we showed great fight, great courage, great determination. We played some really good football uh, and we created some really good chances. Um, and I, I thought we, we, we got punished in our own box on, on probably two occasions. Um, and, and that was the difference. Yeah, it felt like we, we came here and, and took the game to them for, for long spells. Was it maybe just those key moments in both boxes potentially that, that you know, lost us the game? Yeah, as I say, it's, I don't think I can stand here and be one bit critical of of any any player or anything that we've done today. Um, I thought I thought our commitment was superb. I thought our football was superb. We created the chances. Um, and on another day, a bit, a bit like Carrick, uh, on another day, we create those chances and, and, and they go in and you win the game. Um, but it wasn't to be today. And we, we got a... That, that's probably... Out of the last two games, um, a, a draw and a defeat is very difficult to take. But we we, we got to dust ourselves off. Um, they're a superb bunch of players. They 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 work again this week. I, I think they've had two days off over Christmas. Um, there was no complaining. They they just got on with it. And as I say, I thought they were superb. And the other side of it, maybe you know, in games like this, it's fine margins. Cliftonville haven't been up and around the top maybe for a little bit longer. They maybe just show that little bit more kind of street wiseness in, in terms of you know getting out with a, a victory in a game like that. Well, I, I think, as I say, without being too critical, um, had we had taken our chances, we'd have won the game. Um, I don't remember Cliftonville having too many clear cut chances. Uh, the, the, the two chances that they got, they, they took, and, and I think that was probably the difference. Is it a matter of dusting ourselves off? Obviously, I know you're, you're not concentrating or looking at the league table, but you know it's certainly not a, a terrible position that we're in. We just say dust ourselves off and, and go again. And what's going to be a big month? Yeah, we listen uh, when when people talked about where you were, and this is the toughest league in the world, in my opinion. Um, maybe because I'm involved in it, I'm saying that. But uh, this was always going to be a really, really difficult challenge for us, and and our job was always could we stay in the mix. Um, some people got carried away and had us winning leagues in, in, in December and November. We never, we, we knew January is going to be a massive month for us, February is going to be a massive month for us, and we just had to keep doing what we were doing. And hopefully, come the split, hopefully, come the end of the season, that we're in and around it. Yeah, and, and clubs have shown that recently, haven't they, in terms of you know keeping yourselves in and among the, the, the pack that's leading the charge. And then, as you say, once you start playing each other, that's probably when things are really decided. Yeah, um, the, that's that's what we have to do. We have to try and make sure we we stay in this pack. Um, and once you, once you stay in the pack, then you see where it takes you. Uh, January, transfer windows opened. I know I've asked you before, but is there any uh, change in terms of business being done or, or like to be done over the, the next month or so? Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of work going on in the background. Um, we, we, we definitely want to try and do a little bit of business in January. Um, there's certain positions we that we, we want to that bring players in and add and strengthen and um, that's something that we're definitely definitely looking at doing Just finally Irish Cup starts uh, next week against Crumlin United it's one of those games that you know is a potential banana skin obviously for us especially at home just a matter of getting through it and trying to get ourselves into the hat for the last 16 Yeah always difficult these games because you, you, you find you come against teams like Crumlin and others and it's very much cup final for them and they go out and they lift their game 10, 15, 20% and um, we got to make sure that we are right on it. Uh, we got to give them the respect that they deserve, and we got to make sure that that we, we we don't try and take our foot off the gas. That we don't start looking beyond. That it's very much concentrating on that 90, 90 plus minutes. Great, thank you. Cheers.